and welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. In my written blog, um, clutterbug.me, I talked about my bed bag and I said I'd post a video of it. So it's not for everyone, but I'm posting a video of a bed bag. And basically what it is, is a little pouch that you make. Um, and I'll show you mine here. Just move that. A little pouch that you make and it just slips in between the box spring and the mattress there and it holds magazines and it holds the remote and it holds my books and stuff um I know what you're thinking I've seen that on the tell like a infomercials for really really old people yes I know I saw it in a magazine and I was like I can make that so I just used a heavy-duty iron-on tape to make it I folded like little pockets, I ironed them, and then I put iron-on tape, heavy duty, and then ironed it onto the back. So the whole thing isn't sewn, it's just uh, like all these creases and all these are just iron-on tape, putting it together, just iron-on tape. So I just wanted a little place for my iPod. I hate when my tabletop is cluttered, and I know I have drawers, but they're full of other stuff. So I just made this little pockety-poo. Not for everyone, I realize that, but then I started thinking it can be used for so many other things. I was talking to my friend Jess who was trying to make me feel better, and she said in dorm rooms a lot of people use them um, because they don't have side tables. So it's a great alternative if you don't have a side table, you have a really tight space beside your bed, to put a little pocket like that, just the pressure between the mattress and the box spring keeps it in place. And you can make it as big or as many pockets as possible. It took me about 15 minutes to make. I just used some old fabric I had laying around, cut it, bought some $2 iron-on tape, and ironed away. And I'm probably going to make some for my daughter's room, actually, because she doesn't have side tables, and she has about this much room on either side of her bed, um, her day bed. So I can hang those, and I can put books for her, and I could put her favorite stuffed animals, and I can even put diapers and wipes, because I change her on the bed. She doesn't have a change table anymore, but she's not even two, so she's still in diapers. So yeah, I think I'm going to make some more. I know, they're gay. They're for old people, but whatever. It gives you a little extra storage, and you can't even see it. So it's not like it's like, oh, look at that chick with the bed bag. No, look. When the bed's made, you can't even see it's there. It's like you're secretly old. Anyways, that's your tip of the day, and we'll see you next time.